Hello all and welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to perform each node in this in this process using SPSS. For this, we are using Wine dataset. In this Wine dataset, we have thirteen columns and one seventy eight rows. This class is a categorical attribute and we are going to use it as a target. I will explain you in detail what a target is later when we come to the modeling stage. Make sure you are not opening your excel while performing this step. Open the SPSS software. Create a new stream. Go to sources and select the Excel source type as we are using Excel data. Double click on it. Import the file. Select the file that you want to source it. You can preview the data using the preview button. Make sure you have got all the columns. In this preview you can see only 10 rows as it is just sampling. Click on OK. You would observe the data has changed to wine.xlsx. Now you need to partition the data. We do this partitioning to divide the data into testing and training. So training is like you want to train the data you want you want to train your model on the data set and testing is to test the model that you have applied. So I am giving a ratio of 70% and 30% as, as training and testing. Click on apply and click on preview. Here you would see that one of the rows is assigned testing and the other are assigned training. So it means that this fourth row would not be used to train your model it would be used to test your model and the other rows would be used to train your model so you need data to train your model to give the desired output so this is partitioning and now you have to do the type connect your partition to the type right click on the partition click on connect and then click on type it will connect your partition to the type. Double click on type and select the categorical attribute that you want to classify your data as the target. As I have mentioned, I am using class as the target because based on the business requirement, I want to classify my wine data set into one of the classes that are available. I am having three classes that are available. So in case I add a new wine data set, I want to classify based on the other attributes that are available. So this is going to be my target. And make sure the measurement is categorical because continuous data is a numerical format or there would be a continuous stream of data. However, in categorical, as you as I have said, I have I'm having only three classes, class one or class two or class three. So I can categorize the data into one of these, these three categories. So that's why I have to choose categorical in the measurement. Click on apply and then click on OK. Now I'm going to select auto classifier. As I have explained earlier, this auto classifier is going to help you in selecting model for your data. So it will run through the model. 
as i said i am using the auto classifier in this video auto classifier will help you to identify the best model to analyze your data right click on type click select connect and select auto classifier this will connect you your type and the model that you have selected let us explore what we have in the auto classifier select the fields and you can use the predefined roles if you remember we have selected the class as our target in the type so if you select this use predefined roles it would be take it would be taken from the type that you have already selected select the target right click on it and click on run this is going to build the model auto classifier will take time as it has to go through many algorithms that are available to find the best fit for your model after you have run your model you would find a class node is created you, to view the output go to the output section you can you can select whatever kind of output you want i am going to select analysis select the analysis and then run it this will help you to visualize the output that you have got If you observe, our model has a efficiency of 98.25%. So it means that while testing the data through our model, 98.25% of the data is classified correctly and 1.75% of the data is not classified correctly. So that is what it means. Now let us see what suggestions we have got using this auto classifier double click on the class if you can observe it has suggested us three models they are logistic regression discriminant and xg booster in our next video series let us select one of these algorithms and let us see how the model is going to perform you can also observe the overall accuracy and it shows the each of these accuracy each of these models has the same accuracy we will select logistic regression for our next analysis thank you